You alright lads, this is the Geordie Jedi here. Today for my next E3 review we're going to be doing the next Mass Effect. Now, there's not a massive amount of information given in this year's Mass Effect. There was a teaser trailer but nothing, you know, of serious note. So, it's unfortunate but it's also understandable, you know, I mean they don't want to be bigging up the next Mass Effect. When they've got Dragon Age Inquisition coming out soon, I mean, why why would you say, oh, we've got Dragon Age Inquisition coming out soon, yeah, yeah, but take a look at this! You know, it would really spoil the point for them, and Dragon Age Inquisition doesn't actually look as bad as the second Dragon Age, so... I mean, we'll have to wait and see, but, it, you know, Dragon Age Inquisition does look pretty good. But, the next Mass Effect, the first bit of info, of course, was... Some time ago, it gave away. It just showed it was N7 day, this uh, November 7th to 2013, as as I recall. Yeah, they gave away. You know, they had a little bit of screenshots. They also had um the oh, come on, it was sort of like the own. You know, the creative director and that kind of thing. Him and I think like as effectively as vice in command, they both had a go of. The next Mass Effect, you know, is a pre-build kind of thing. Apparently, it was brilliant. They also had a, sh they also had a um, a picture of the Mako with a little caption saying um, "for inspiration," which suggests that you know there's going to be vehicular exploration back again for this Mass Effect. This was something that was missed quite a lot in Mass Effect One, so you know, good on them. Then. We'll fast forward to, it was a random post on a very obscure, obscure, obscure forum, forum. No, not 100% who I, who this guy was. What he did say was that Bioware released something asking, you know, say 20 fans, you know, well, they picked 20 fans to come in and have effectively, you know, a bit of a presentation to them. Closed doors, so nobody knew else knew what was going on and whatever was said in there was meant to be was meant not to be released mainly partly because nothing was 100% at the time but also because Bioware do like to keep themselves a bit secretive until the right moment and any time before that or after that is you know is disagreeable with them anyways basically what these fans were asked were you know do you want a prequel or sequel most of them said sequel Mainly because, well, fairly obviously, you know, I mean, people, you know, this Bioware have said that, you know, this is a new adventure. This has got more or less nothing to do with Commander Shepard. But that doesn't mean we wouldn't like to find out what happened to him, especially with the kind of, with that Easter egg at the end of the third one. You, you know, those who have played it and seen it will understand definitely what I mean. So, you know, the... People want to find out the new, but also going in a new adventure is a nice idea. It's also so Commander Shepard won't be returning. They say, you know, they've said he definitely won't be returning. That doesn't necessarily mean, you know, they could be trying to be clever and say it's now Captain Shepard. I doubt it because they don't seem the type, but you know, they're, they're you know, we can't take their word as a hundred percent completely true right now. Anyways, apart from, they were also shown a number of, vehic of vehicles, again, suggesting vehicle exploration, it does suggest also that it's open world, it's meant to be open world on a massive scale for each planet now, it's used in Frostbite 3 so they can probably get away with it with that kind of engine. They were also shown, apparently, they were asked, what two races would you like to get rid of, you know, wouldn't you like to see, would you not mind losing? Or least mind losing, and then show two new races, which is apparently a arrogant skeletal-like thing. I'm a little bit, I'm assuming, like the vulture. You know, it's that kind of embodiment almost. And then an ancient guardian-like golem, go well golem, kind of creature. Now, apparently, the two the least the, that the least minded losing was the quarians and. I think the Volus, off the top of my head, which is a shame, Quarians are probably one of my favourites actually, but, you know, it's the way it happens. 
that was more or less about it. There wasn't a massive amount of news on that. The reason why people think it's true because it was an obscure forum. Um, somebody did post on Twitter going to the PAX conference, which is like uh, Comic Con, which is where it was. And also, you know, a couple of months later, the post was deleted, which suggests that, you know, the guy had said something he probably shouldn't have, and it's been deleted. Again, this is speculation, you know, it's still not 100%, we can't, we can't prove it, we can't, you know, we can't, by way, have not said anything of the sort themselves, so, you know, we can't say this is the case. Now, the teaser trailer at E3, this was a very small trailer, it was, it was meant to, well, it was meant to tease, it was meant to tease, fairly obviously it showed, you know, there were two races we saw, we saw Krogan, although the Krogans did look a little unusual, but, you know, that might just be the difference from next gen and previous gen, perhaps. Um, we did, now humans weren't, 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 there, there was the end, there was somebody who we assume is the main protagonist wearing N7 armour, a different kind of N7 armour, but N7 armour nevertheless, which suggests probably human again it's not really really 100% sure it's human but you know like Leo it probably is if it's an N7 armor it also suggests to me personally that unless N7 has become a legendary word now which I doubt it Shepard probably has if it's distant future but N7 might not have done it also suggests that it's not going to be you know massively future it's going to be you know it's not going to be a thousand plus years into the future for mass effect 3 it's, it, it's more likely going to be more like a hundred within that kind of area again this is more my personal opinion than anything looking into a distant future a thousand years plus would be interesting but what the family also done is they've picked a new part effectively a new part of the galaxy that's completely unexplored which means that even if you do go only only 10 years into the future after Mass Effect 3, you're still going to see new stuff. So quite frankly, it doesn't make much of a difference if it's 1,000 years in the future or 10 years. Because you're still going to see new stuff one way or the other. Anyways, apart from, apart from that, I haven't released much. What we're going to probably have to do is, well, there'll be two things we'll have to wait for. There'll be N7 Day, which is November the 7th this year. Again, the, the, they'll probably release, you know, a couple of tidbits, Not nothing serious, but, you know, they did release some info last N7 day, so this N7 day, especially with Dragon Age and Inquisition already being out, it means they'll prob they might give away more than they did last year. And then, apart from obviously E3 next year, it'll be the VGX Awards, which is apparently the succeed at uh, the VGA Awards. Basically, basically the point being, or the VGAs, sorry, the, basically because the mass, the big cinematic Mass Effect 3 trailer that was considered, and probably is one of the best trailers, you know, <coughs> game trailers ever to be released. It was released at, at um, 2013's VGA, or 2012's, right, yeah, basically before Mass Effect 3, sorry. For some reason I can't get the air in my head. Before Mass Effect 3 was released, 2011. <laughs> It's probably the yeah. So again, they might do something similar. Would be nice. It does also mean that you know, once Dragon Age Inquisition is out, we're going to get a lot of info. Relatively speaking, I mean, they're still going to keep quite a bit secret as every game does. But you know, after Dragon Age Inquisition, especially A3 next year, they can focus all the effort on the next Mass Effect, which you know good to be honest i mean i do like dragon age a bit but mass effect's more far more important to me vastly anyways it's been the geordie jedi leave a like if you can it really helps subscribe if you want i'll put the link in the description below may the force be with you